Good morning, everyone. It is another beautiful day. And this weekend, my son had his first 11-year-old Boy Scout camp out. And because I have four boys, because I love the scouting activities, I went with them. And I had an experience that... I didn't expect or see coming. Um, firstly, I talked last week about making an impact. And I shared a, a personal story, an experience I had um, when I was a missionary. Well, this weekend, the, um, the gentleman in charge of the program for the weekend... Uh, was teaching the boys on Saturday morning. And the boys had a bit of a rough night. It rained in most of our tents. And we had to um, leave them at 2 a.m. and go up to the uh, barn on this, other, this property that we were um, camping on. And... So the boys had a late night, and Saturday morning they they were dragging some, and they kind of just wanted to you know hang out. And this leader said to them, "You know, there's times in life where we sometimes have to do things we don't want to do." And one of the other boys there, Morna Tanner, his dad has. Um, some injuries from his military days that have an impact on him, his work sometimes. So he goes to work, and you know he said to, he said that you know your dad goes to work every day, and he um, he has back problems and other pain. So do you think he always wants to go to work like that? And then he turned to my son and said, you know, your dad goes to work every day too. And, you know, this week he's had some pain in his in his leg and some problems with his muscles and his, uh, his tendons and his knees. And he came up here on the camp out too to be with you and to help support um, the scouting activity. And personally... Personally, the, the, my discomfort wasn't something that I was going to let stop me from being there to support my son and to support my friend who was running the program for the weekend. And while I didn't do any long hikes or anything like that, we were hiking about 100 yards a couple times a day just from the campsite back up to the to the. Um, the barn and the site where we were doing all of our stuff. And that's one of the things my dad taught me is you just work through the pain. You know, unless it's a serious injury that's got to be, you know, fixed, some serious, you know, like something real bad, um, you just work through it. And I'm gr so grateful that I had this experience. One, because it reminded me of the example that I set for my son and the things that I do every day. The impact that I have on him. Now, I didn't I didn't ask um, this leader any, any questions about what happened. He came up and told me and some of the other leaders... Um, and so he changed the schedule a little bit. But I just want to re-emphasize and reinforce that. More John, the, the example that we set, the way that we live our lives, other people see it. Sometimes it's our kids. Sometimes it's, excuse me, other coworkers or friends. And it has an impact. It can change their lives. Because they see us 
in our um, our challenges, our trials, our blessings, and see how we work through or hobble through, more than Paul, some of those difficulties. Yeah, we're not going to have perfect days. And there's going to be days where whatever's bothering us gets the better of us. But overall, the good you do in your life, boy, really, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really yawny today. Um, that has an influence. And you, you don't always know where that's going to land. And i got to be honest, having um, this friend of mine, this, uh, this Boy Scout leader, use me an example like that to the boys to encourage them to kind of suck up the tiredness and work through the stuff that they had planned to do. Um, it was cool. It was cool to see that. Okay, my friends, thank you for spending time with me. If you get value from this video, please like and share it. You can also get all of my other social media feeds at ironwheel.net. And from there, you can get LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, uh, the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. My goal is 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I look forward to talking to you again. Thanks again for spending time with me. Make it a great day.